Hey there, viewers. All of us want dazzling white teeth, anything but yellow. Yellow teeth can occur for various reasons, including poor brushing habits and stains from things you eat or drink. Whitening can be hard, but it is still possible. In today's video, we'll talk about seven expert-approved ways to get rid of yellow teeth. Should you buy a whitening toothpaste? How about quitting smoking? Wait, do I have to cut my favorite snacks? We'll be discussing all of these and more. Number one, try a whitening toothpaste. You've probably seen a dozen TV commercials of whitening toothpaste. They usually take up an entire shelf at supermarkets. Well, there's a reason they're so popular. Whitening toothpaste can help you get brighter teeth, but can you expect instant results? Whitening toothpastes, especially over-the-counter ones, usually don't contain carbamide peroxide. This compound basically acts as a bleaching agent to remove stains from teeth. So does whitening toothpaste really work? Well, it only removes surface stains and it doesn't actually change the natural color of your teeth. Whitening toothpaste can't lighten a stain that goes deeper than the tooth's surface. But this suggests it can be used to clean the yellowing, which is on the external surface of the teeth. Whitening contains particles such as silica or dicalcium phosphate, which help to remove plaque and polish your teeth. These particles don't wear down your teeth, but help to buff away surface stains, leaving them bright and beautiful. Usually, brightening toothpaste takes some time to whiten your teeth, but the one with chemical blue coverine may be more effective. Whitening toothpaste makes your teeth appear whiter just after one brush. When buying whitening toothpaste, choose one that's approved by the American Dental Association. They're generally considered safe to use. Avoid non-ADA-approved whitening toothpaste, such as charcoal toothpaste. Charcoal can wear down your enamel permanently. Remember not to overuse whitening toothpaste. Some are made for everyday use, while others are supposed to be used occasionally. Have you ever tried whitening toothpaste? Did you see a difference in the color of your teeth? Sound off in the comment section below and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two. Avoid staining foods and drinks. Your sacred morning coffee and your favorite red wine might be doing more than providing energy and nutrition. These might be the main cause behind your yellow teeth. Yes, foods with dark pigments and high acidic content can produce stains. Sauces with vibrant colors such as tomato sauce, soy sauce, marinara, and balsamic vinegar all stain your teeth. Bright fruits such as pomegranates, blueberries, and blackberries can cause your teeth to stain. The tiny organic particles penetrate the pores of your tooth enamel and with time may worsen these stains. Pigmented juices like cranberry, grape, beet, and blueberry juice also cause discoloration of your teeth. We know you love your hot cup of joe, but sadly it can make your teeth yellow. An easy way of preventing such yellowing is drinking your coffee with a straw. I know it sounds weird, right? This will help your teeth avoid contact with the coffee. Tea also stains your teeth. You'll be surprised to know that adding some milk to your tea can reduce the staining. Hold on, there's more. We know Coke and energy drinks are very tempting, but these also contribute to staining your teeth. Acidic drinks can eat away at your enamel, increasing the chances of yellowing. Red wine can also roughen your tooth enamel, allowing the dark red particles of wine to stick to the tooth surface. Not to mention the chocolates and gummy-type candies you eat that satisfy your sweet tooth. We know avoiding these tooth-staining foods and drinks all the time just isn't possible. Experts recommend that brushing your teeth right after eating and drinking may be helpful. Rinsing your mouth out with water can also prevent staining. Feel like you're missing out? Make sure you join our millions of viewers by hitting that subscribe button and staying up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number 3. Protect Your Enamel by now, you know that if your enamel is eaten away, it'll make your tooth look extra yellow. The enamel, the top layer of your teeth, is white in color. The layer beneath the enamel is dentin, which has a slight hint of yellow. And so, if your enamel is thin, your teeth will appear yellowish, as the lower layer dentin will be visible. Folks, you need to protect your enamel and avoid doing anything that strips away the top layer. So, what should you do to protect your enamel? You need to avoid overbrushing and grinding your teeth, which is common for people to do in their sleep. Make sure you're not brushing your teeth with too much pressure. Cut out the sugary foods and drinks and watch for dry mouth. Use toothpaste that consists of fluoride. Treat heartburn issues, as stomach acid may escape and eat away at your enamel. Number 4. Use whitening strips While whitening toothpaste may take longer to whiten your teeth, whitening strips may be better. Whitening strips are easy to use and will keep the active whitening ingredient on your teeth for a longer period. Go for a teeth whitening kit that contains about 3 to 10% hydrogen peroxide. The peroxide effectively whitens teeth by passing into the tooth and breaking the complex molecules that catch the yellow light from the dentin layer. 
Whitening strips have fewer complications than the bleaching sessions you have at the dentist. A wide range of whitening strip products are available. Each of them have different concentrations of hydrogen peroxide. Apply them on your teeth for however long it says in the instructions. Number 5. Quit Smoking We know it's easier said than done. Anyone who smokes knows how hard it is to quit. But if you want to improve the color of your teeth, start the process of quitting. Smoking is a major cause behind your yellow teeth. When you smoke, you're exposed to both tobacco and nicotine. Both of these lead to yellow or stained teeth along with bad breath. Smoking not only affects your teeth, but also lowers your immunity. It also puts you at a greater risk for gum disease and oral cancer. You'll notice a considerable difference in the color of your teeth once you leave smoking behind. Before we continue, would you like to learn more about quitting smoking? Check out our video on how one cup a day will flush nicotine from your body away. Now back to our discussion on ways to reverse yellow teeth. Number 6. Professional Teeth Whitening If you've tried all the methods mentioned earlier in this video and nothing seems to be working, it's time to get some professional help. The whitening effects on in-office treatment are very quick and long-lasting. Your dentist will use professional-grade whitening products. These contain a higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide compared to ones you use at home. Professional teeth whitening is recommended if you already have issues like receding gums. Since professional whitening treatment uses a higher concentration of bleaching agents, having it done at your dentist office is definitely safer. The time it takes for this treatment to work depends on how bad your teeth are. For some, it takes an hour. For others, it may take a few visits. Number 7. Schedule a routine cleaning You need to maintain good oral hygiene if you want healthy, bright teeth. That's why you should go for regular dental visits at least twice a year. Your dentist will check the status of your oral health. This includes the color of your teeth. On the basis of their examination, they might suggest dental cleaning, which will remove all the surface stains from your teeth. Regular cleaning will also help prevent surface stains from penetrating your teeth. Also, regular checkups will make it easier for your dentist to decide the course of action you need to take for good oral health. Once you're done with your whitening treatments, the next important thing is to maintain the results. Just because your teeth now look bright and beautiful doesn't mean you can start neglecting your oral hygiene. Your teeth can still stain, so avoid the foods and drinks we talked about. At least don't consume them on a routine basis. Rinsing your mouth or brushing after eating and drinking is still a must. This practice will make sure that no stain settles on your teeth and prevents plaque buildup. You should incorporate some habits to maintain your dental health, including brushing twice a day, flossing, and avoiding acidic drinks. If you don't have healthy teeth, you don't have health in general. You need good teeth to avoid harmful bacteria. Would you like to learn more about improving the health of your teeth? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out 11 ways to strengthen your teeth, or how about how to treat your receding gums at home naturally. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both, and learn more about how you can improve the health of your teeth. Did you know about these ways to reverse yellowing? Let us know in the comments below.